Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. Today, I'm going to walk you through installing Windows XP. Make sure you load the CD in the drive and restart the computer. You should say something like this, press any key to boot from CD. If you don't, you can always press delete, depending on the computer, or F2 in some cases. Once you get into the BIOS, make sure that your first boot device is the CD-ROM. and then you should be able to see boot from CD or DVD and press enter. Once your CD starts, your installation starts, the Windows setup screen will appear, installing all necessary drivers. Once that finish, you're gonna come to this window, welcome to the setup. Now you have three options here. Set up Windows XP, press enter, and to repair, press R. So we're installing it, we're gonna press enter. Now you have to agree to the terms and conditions by pressing F8. Now here I got 6.5 megs. I'm gonna use the full drive but just in case you got 300 gigs or 200 gigs you can always press C so you can partition your hard drive like use 30 gigs out of your 200 for the operating system which I highly recommend so that way you have your operating system separated from your uh, data. Press C, press the amount of gigs that you want to use, it's in megs, 30,000 is 30, 30 gigs. Now I'm gonna escape to cancel and use my full three, uh, six and a half gigs and press enter. In your case, if you want to use the full hard drive, just press enter. Now here I have two options, NTFS quick or NTFS uh, file system. The difference between them is that NTFS quick will just delete the information and add the new information, which is the operating system. NTFS will delete all the information plus will check for bad sectors on the hard drive and then add the information, which is the operating system on the hard drive. This one is best. So select the most appropriate one for you and press enter. Once it format the drive, it's going to install all the system files. When it finish installing all the system files, the system will restart. Please make sure you don't click enter when you see boot from CD or DVD on startup. Now it's installing. I'm going to pause it and resume at startup. Starting up. Now you see the uh, boot from CD or DVD. I'm sorry, CD. Don't click enter. Don't click any keys. Let it run. Now from here is self-explanatory. All you need to do is select your region language, type your name. This process takes like an hour. Type your product key, your computer name, you can change it like you see here. And then click next. Select your time in your time zone uh, typical settings click next work group if you have a different change it and click next next that's it thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel feel free to email me if you have any questions